Hello there YouTubers. A lot of people have been wanting to know about the Zoom Spot. Well, this is my Zoom Spot in here. As you can see, it's uh, not very big. Um, about two inches long by about an inch wide. And the reason it's so high, there are two boards in this box. I'll open it up and show you in the next video. But this is a Zoom Spot. It will do P25, Fusion, C4FM, D-Star and DMR. And it's running, uh, this one is actually running Pi Star. And it's got, I haven't put an OLED on it because I want it purely as the smallest hotspot I can get. I've got a battery pack, power lead going in. That's all you need. You don't need any MiFi boxes with an Ethernet cable and all that sort of thing. Look, one power cable, if I get a smaller USB to uh, um, the micro USB, a really small one, uh, I can make this thing even any smaller. Anyway, I'll take the lid off it and I'll come back with the next part. Okay, I've taken the lid off and this is what is inside. This is the Zoom board, this small little board on here. It's got a bank of uh, LED lights on there that uh, when it's scanning all four modes it goes up and down, up and down, up and down. It's got a power on light and then it's got a COS light, PTT light and obviously you can see reading down DMR, D-Star, Fusion, P25. So it's running on a Raspberry Pi Zero. Some people have asked how do you get it so it's not Wi-Fi? Well the Pi Zero has got Wi-Fi built in so on your Pi Star you just look for the Wi-Fi and away you go. So uh, all I've got uh, on there is a little heat sink on the processor. Power goes in this one. And that is it. That is the Zoom board uh, from Bruce Gibbon. This is a Bruce Gibbon Zoom board, Zoom spot, Zoom board. And that's running on a Raspberry Pi Zero. Obviously this is set up for my uh, Wi-Fi. I've put three Wi-Fi's in there, my home one. Uh, the one in the shack and also my uh, mobile Wi-Fi. Now, if you tether it off your phone, you just set up your phone tethering uh, and then you just link this to it. It's very simple. It's just like a, we all know what the Raspberry Pi, the bigger board is. This is just a Pi Zero. It's a small one. It fits absolutely perfectly on top of it. Um, I put some of these nylon spaces in here. Just had to put a little washer under there just to keep it because it was drooping down. It was, um, these posts were just not designed for this. <laughs> it's a bit fiddly, but yeah, that is it. Anyway, that's what it's like with the lid off. I'll just go on top of it. There we go. This is a Bruce Gibbons Zoom Spot. There we go. Beautifully made, uh, very well made. There are the Chinese uh, Zoom Spot ones. I've got one on order. I'll let you know what they're like. But yeah, so I will come back with the dashboard so you can see what it's like. Right, we now come over to the uh, dashboard of the uh, Pi Star. Obviously, all you got to do is type in the IP address of the Raspberry Pi, which is connected to your Wi-Fi. And you can see up the top here, uh, all four modes are running, everything's green, got the frequency in there, and all the way down, uh, tells you what's connected, um, and then you can go through them, so I'll just move down a bit, I've got it connected on C4FM on the Canadian uh, reflector. So that is the actual dashboard, obviously I've only just powered it up so I've got nobody on here. But what you can do is you've got a load of uh, settings up the top there, administration or whatever. And if you want to add a, an additional Wi-Fi, once you've got it connected, you just go up to the configure button. You type in Pi Star and the password of your uh, Pi, which default is Raspberry, unless you've otherwise changed it. And then you get this dashboard come up. And this is where you can go through and alter all the settings in here. All your DMR, D-Star, um, uh, Fusion, where you want it to connect to a power up, your P25. And then we get down to the bottom here, which is your Wi-Fi bit. You go down there. So if you want to add an additional Wi-Fi, 
you click on the configure Wi-Fi button and there's my two of mine connected there and you just do scan and it will scan for additional uh, Wi-Fi's and you put in the password and you're ready to go so that is how you do the Pi Star Wi-Fi so we'll move back off them ones but yeah so that you know, go back up to dashboard again you can do updates as well on this you can update the system by going into that uh, one there uh, the update button and it will do a full update I did this the other day so it should be right up to date I would have thought uh, I only did an update uh, yesterday I think it was but we'll have a quick look anyway it looks like it is actually going to do some updates on there but yeah that is the dashboard for Pi Star.